very short presentation. Okay, Rupa, great. So what I'll do is I'll take uh, you know cover a couple of slides, right? Uh, where I will explain about our program, right? And then I'll take up a couple of questions that you guys have asked, right? That is perfect, right? So let me start with the presentation. So first of all, welcome everyone, right? I know there are very few people who have joined, right? Although we received a lot of form responses, uh, probably around 50, 60 kind of form responses, right? Uh, but it's pretty good. Uh, let's just start this discussion. If you guys are actually serious and wanted to know about this course program, right? So I'll discuss uh, in detail. So first of all, welcome. And uh, this is my introduction, right? So I am Sudhanshu. I'm the co-founder of Qubit. I'm also a mentor at Qubit, right? I'm a full stack developer uh, in Monstack. I'm also experienced in machine learning and all, right? Uh, before uh, founding Qubit, uh, I was at Samsung Research and Development Center, right? Uh, before that, I'm a graduate of IIT Khadakpur in 2019. So I have pretty much seen all these phases, you know, of being a student, right? And then being in a company, in a corporate environment where I've seen how companies work, right? What sort of work uh, a person has to do in a team when they join a company, right? Uh, and post that, I have also mentored a lot of students till now. Right. So through our course directly also, I keep on mentoring a lot of students. Right. So I have pretty much, you know, experience in all these uh, three sections, right, where I hope you all, you guys also wanted to be right. You guys are student, right. And you guys want to be in a company, right. You guys need a placement. So you need to understand all the different phases that a student has to go through. So uh, taking on post my introduction, what is Qubit? I think it's pretty, uh, I think pretty much all of you are aware. Qubit is basically a full stack career platform, right? Where we help students to get internships, jobs, right? Uh, through our platform itself. And apart from it, there is this placement course program also where we first train students and then help them get an internship and job. So till now we have more than 10 lakh students who are onboarded on our platform. We have more than 7,000 companies who are in partnership with us. They are connected with us either through WhatsApp, either through an email, right? Our team is in direct touch with the hiring partners, right? So that is one thing. These are some of the people, some of the companies with whom we have partnered, right? There are a lot more, right? We cannot fit all the 7,200 in just one slide. So it's just a simple uh, glimpse of who all are hiring through you. Uh, moving ahead, so I think a couple of people want to join. Okay, uh, so this is basically the plan, the course plan for next four to six months. Now that you all know, right, that Qubit is a platform to help you get a job, right, or an internship. So how are we able to do it? So for a lot of people who are enrolled in our course program, right, in our placement guarantee program, right. So there are these four major sections that they have to go through. Even if there are people who do not go through this, right? They go through these programs either by themselves, right? Or through our program. So I'll give you a brief of the whole uh, placement guarantee course program that we do step by step. Like what is covered in that? What all to expect from that, right? And post that, how you will get a job, right? What is the process to get a job? Right. And I'll also take on a couple of questions that you guys have put up. Right. So uh, fair up to this point, uh, all things are clear to everyone. Right. If you guys have any question in between, right, just don't wait for that. Uh, as I was already telling at the start of the session, you can always go at the bottom section. There is this activity section at the bottom of your Google Meet. Go to that. Go to that Q question and answer section, right, Q&A section and post your question. Once I'll take up those questions, I'll I'll start marking those questions. Okay, okay, this is covered and this is covered. Right, and I'll, I'll answer those questions on this call once a particular page is over. So those who have joined recently, uh, you can put up your questions like that. Is it all right? So moving ahead. Um, so what is the plan for the placement guarantee course program? So it's basically divided into four different sections. The first section is where 
we will teach you about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? And in this in this first module, there are two types of things. One is theory and one is project, right? This theory and projects, they run in parallel, right? I mean, in the first week, when you join the program, the very first week, you will go through the setting up of your VS code, right? Um, all the tools that are required to run your first web development project, right? Once that is done, so that that is where a mentor basically shows you in a live class, right? There's a Google Meet that a mentor shows you, okay, okay this is how you should, you should set up your VS code, right? This is how uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript file runs, right? Post that, once you are a little bit comfortable with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, right? Uh, they'll give you a short project that you need to build, right? So we'll give you some time where you build it yourself, right? You put in some work, some, some of your learnings. If you are able to build it, it's, it's very good, right? If you are not able to build, the mentors will again take a session where they'll explain key how to build it. Even if you have built it, they'll tell you exact solution or the optimal solution, right? So our learning plan is basically a combination of theory and projects, right? So first module, it happens for six weeks, right? Where in six weeks, we build like two to three projects in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and we learn theory as well. So if you're someone who is not at all aware about the programming or web development, right? HTML is the first language that anyone learns, right? So this is like the very start of the web development journey that you'll go through. Post those six weeks, we'll move to the second module, which is in React JS, React frameworks, NPM libraries, all those things, which is like front end. That will again take five to six weeks. Right. In these five to six weeks, it's again the same pattern, theory plus projects. There will be a lot of live classes that our mentors will take. Right. Uh, there will be doubt classes also that our mentors will take. Where let's say if you are stuck somewhere, right? If you are confused about something, you can ask to doubts. Right. The third module is backend module, which is very much crucial. Uh, it's about Node.js, MongoDB databases, right? A lot of people you find they must have learned till module one right html CSS, javascript very few people have learned about react js and most of the students who want to get a job they in most of the cases they have never you know learned try to learn the back end section right and which is very much crucial whenever a company gives you a project right any assignment or a hiring coding test right they'll ask a lot of questions on databases they'll ask a lot of questions on apis all these things is covered in this module 3 that again takes five to six weeks time, right? So if you just combine these first three sections, section one, two, three, right? Where post this is done, you are a full stack developer. You would have completed like four months, around four months of theory plus projects. So you would have built a lot of projects, right? And you would have went through a lot of live classes, right? Where the mentors is also teaching you you know, concepts and giving you examples. So you are also watching some of the projects that they are building. So these three sections are very much crucial to become, to make you a full stack developer. Once this is done, uh, there is this two months of DSL, but this DSL program is for pro plus students, which is job guarantee program. So in this data structures and algorithms, this goes on for two months. Now this DSA is also a combination of theory and questions. Now in DSA, uh, very important thing to note is that doing questions, right? Doing a lot of DSA questions is the key to learn DSA properly, right? And that is what we also follow. We'll give you a lot of questions. We'll give you 10, 20 questions in the DSA session every day, right? And in the next session, we'll discuss all those questions one by one, right? And wherever someone faces any issue, the mentors will explain, okay, this is how it needs to be solved solve this is what you should think when you're solving this problem right so all these things will happen in the dsa section so once all these four sections are done right so not four sections post three sections fourth section is dsa that runs in parallel to the placement process so i'll explain more about the placement process in the next slide and this basically gives a complete picture of how our placement guarantee program runs, right? 
So as I mentioned, four months is the ideal time frame where we teach you Monster. Four to five months, right? Uh, it has huge amount of learning, 200 plus hours of actually live classes, doubt solving classes, and all of those things are there. There are a lot of project classes also, right? Where they will teach you standard coding practices, right? How a actual developer builds code. How do they do Stack Overflow, Chat GPT, and all, right? All these things will be covered. Uh, there will be a lot of micro projects, capstone projects, right? Uh, once you have built those projects, you'll have access to all these class recordings, right? Post completion of the course program, you'll also get certificates of internship, right? Of full stack development. It's a completion certificate that you'll get from our end. So this you can add to your resume to showcase that when you have learned here for next for the five months, right? You have invested a lot of time. You have built a lot of project. You have learned a lot of theory, right? So somehow you are a full stack developer, right? And it needs to be shown with a proof. That is where certificates comes into picture. You can show it in your resume, right? Other companies will be able to look at it. Okay, this guy has done something, right? He has built these projects, right? So he is better than someone who has not done anything, who has just watched probably YouTube, right? They've seen the code and just written it down. So this is where the certification helps you, you know, uh, put you in that top 10% kind of category. Apart from this, there is this daily doubt solving classes that happens on Google Meet. Like this is where we are having this session. Similar to this, there is this daily doubt solving classes where if you have doubt, go to that class, the right mentors will be there, ask them, they'll explain on a Google Meet, right? And this happens every day, right? So you can just imagine if there's a six months program, Right. And this doubt class goes for one, two hours kind of thing on a daily basis. You can imagine how much amount of time these mentors are putting so that you become a full stack developer. Right. So up to this point, uh, does anyone have any question? Put it in the Q&A section if you guys have any question. There are a couple of questions that I will take up. OK. Uh, OK, so Bipul has asked one question. Uh, how many students are there in one batch, right? And what is the success rate of QIT? So fairly good question, people. Uh, I'll cover this one. Okay, so I'm trying to admit it. So I'll cover this question. So in one batch, usually uh, there are around 80 to 100 people, right? Even if in some batches, it could be around 150 or 160 also, right? But the number of people that we take for job guarantee, they are always very limited, right? So there are three kinds of program. If you look on the placement guarantee program, one is a uh, job guarantee, which is pro plus one is uh, internship guarantee, which is pro. And the third one is basic plan, which is certification plan, right? So the number of people who we enroll for pro plus, they are around 70 to 75 every month. It could be even low for someone where we believe you will take only this much student. And we'll take this input based on how many people we can place, right? So 70 to 75 people are like this, right? In the remaining crowd, there are around 40 people who will be from pro plan, right? Guaranteed internship. And there will be 40 people sort of things. If the batch size is 160, the 40 people will be in basic plan, right? So ideally, the number of people in job guarantee is always 70 to 75. Now coming to the success rate. For the success rate, first of all, I will take into picture of Pro Plus plan. So uh, what happens is that there are a lot of batches that keep on running in parallel. One batch is at HTML, CSS. One batch is at Node.js. One batch is at React.js. One batch is at DSA. So what happens is that all of them, they give their final evaluation project, right? And we'll take them to the placement session together. There is no segregation from which batch you belong, right? So there could be people from multiple batches whose placements is going at the same time, right? And when the placement goes on, all these people can discuss with each other, right? When they get a company connection, they can, you know, discuss among themselves. So there is a particular group that we maintain for placement people. And we are able to place around 40 people, 30 to 40 people every month, right? And so among these 70 to 75 people, right? 30 to 35 people are being able to place in just the first month itself, right? The remaining people, they will add up for the next month, right? So if you just ask me how many people are being able to place in the 70, 75, 
So first of all, among those 75 people, let's say I'm taking this number as 70. From these 70 people, 5% uh, of them are not able to even, not even attempt the final evaluation, right? So there will be around 65 people who will take the final evaluation test, right? Some people may not take it due to their personal reasons or things like they've already got a job during the course itself, right? Uh, it could be like now they do not plan to go for a job, right? They're planning for their master's or MBA. Things like this happen for some people, 5%. 65% people remain for those 65 people uh, around 60 people are able to clear probably five people may not be able to clear right because those who have not learned right so for those 60 people it takes us roughly two and a half months two to three months to place them right so that's the success rate I would say the success rate uh, batch wise if you ask me the number would be easily more than 90% right and you can find some of those successes we record their videos, right? And put it on our YouTube channel. So what I will do is if you are connected with an admission counselor, you can ask for our YouTube channel, right? Where you'll get those success stories. So you can watch some of their success stories of the students who are keep on getting placed. So for some of them, we record a video who are, who wants to get it recorded. There are a couple of people who do not want to share their CTC, their company, right? Publicly. So for those people, there is no video on YouTube, but for some, you'll be able to find on YouTube. So that's the question to your, uh, that's the answer to your question. Uh, Rupa, you wanted to ask some question. You can put it in the Q and a section at the bottom, right? There is this triangle, right? Activity section, go to that Q and a and put up your question, right? Uh, okay. What is the eligibility criteria for pro plus, uh, Priyanshu, a very good question, right? Um, so the eligibility criteria is as such uh, for enrollment, right? We only take the first 70 students, right? Post that we will, we do not enroll any pro plus, right? We we'll just tell them either you join in the next batch, right? Where we'll need one month's time, right? Or you can take up any other plan, which is like basic, uh, no job guarantee or internship guarantee, right? Because we cannot take a lot of pro plus people, right? A lot of job guarantee people. You cannot take 200, right? It is all dependent on how many people we will be able to place. If we can place only 30 people in a month, if we believe that, right? Because we are connected with companies, we see how many requirements we get, right? Based on that, we take the input. Right? So we always take care of that, whether we can place our students or not, because that is our priority one. If you're not able to place them, there is no point taking hundred people and not placing them, right? Because we know that it matters a lot. So that's the criteria. We we'll just take it first come, uh, first come, first serve kind of thing. So okay, very good question. Someone uh, has asked, uh, uh, how can this program uh, help professionals, right, with two years of experience, uh, transition to full stack role? Um, yeah, so there are a couple of people who were professionals, working professionals, uh, and who have got a job, right? If you are connected with any counselor, admission counselor, right? Uh, probably they can, you know, uh, they can share a couple of success stories. There are not, uh, yeah. So you, since you are in tech itself, like a blockchain developer, and you want to become a full stack, it's pretty easy. So for for ourselves, we have even placed people who are from non-tech domain, right? those who were doing operations role, right? So we've placed them in um, in basically tech companies. 2018 graduate in BE mechanical. Um, yeah, so that is completely possible, right? So I'm not sure um, what you wanted to ask. So you will receive job, that is for sure, right? Because you have placed 2018 graduates as well, right? And we have a very similar success story like yours. Right, 2018, who is from non-tech, right, and he got placed in tech. So with your admission counselor, you can ask this question very easily. They'll share, you know, the success stories. Okay, um, so moving on to the next slide, and I'll take a couple of more questions that are yet to be answered, right? Because otherwise, I'll just keep on taking the questions. Uh, so as I was telling, these are the four modules, right? First one is HTML CSS module one front end uh, module two, back end module three, and then uh, module four is basically DSM, right? Which is optional, right? Which is for pro plus people only, 
Now the fourth section, which is this DSA, it keeps on going in parallel with final evaluation, right? So once the mon stack is complete, the HTML module one, module two, and module three is complete, right? There is a final evaluation project that will give you. It's basically a full stack project, right? Similar projects uh, were being built during the mon stack learning. So it's a similar project, but it's a full stack project. So the aim of this final evaluation is to test whether a student who was part of this four to five month journey with us, where our mentors put in a lot of efforts without solving classes, right? Whether a student was able to learn the concepts or not, right? Because if someone has not learned the concepts, right, they are not being able, they cannot be placed, right? And this is a hard truth, right? The aim of our course program is that will take you from uh, a beginner level to an advanced level in Monstack. So that any company where you are interviewing, right, or doing the assignment or taking their coding test, right, it gets very easy for you to clear them, right. So the purpose of the placement guarantee program is to upskill you and then place you. If someone is not upskilled enough, right, and will let them sit with people who are upskilled, right, then it will create a lot of chaos that upskilled people will keep on getting placed and the someone who has not learned anything, they will create a bad impression among the companies. The company will say, okay, uh, this guy is really good, right? These five people are very good, but this one person is not able to understand anything, right? So how is it relevant? Even the, even those five people who are, who have already learned all these concepts, right? And when they, their profile is being shared with the person who, who does not know anything, even they can question, right? I have done all this hard work. I've learned all these things, right? So my profile should be put in priority, right? So that is why we conduct a final evaluation project where the aim is you build a full stack project, right? Based on whatever being taught in the four to five months, right? And post that there is a interview round that we conduct to check what, what you have learned during the course program. So the question in the interviews will be, from the uh, program itself, right? And from a little bit from the projects, right? So it'll be a mix of course, course topics as well as projects. Now this final evaluation is very mandatory to be eligible to sit for placements, right? And as I explained above, right? This is very, very similar to a JE exam, right? Um, I hope most of you have heard about IIT JE exam, right? So, in JE exam also, there is this final eva exam, right? You prepare for two years, right? Or three years. You you were being in 11th and 12th and prepare for a lot of topics and then you give for an exam, right? If let's say there are people who are able to get into some college, right? With a good rank and all, right? While there are people who have not prepared enough, right? So you cannot, you cannot say that this final evaluation is hard or final evaluation, you know, is something that no one can clear. Right. So the aim of that final evaluation is whether you are prepared well for the JE, right? But that is a very tough level, definitely a very tough level JE. Uh, I'm just giving an example. Our final evaluation is something that is based on whatever we taught in the four to five months. So if you have attended classes, right? If you have built projects, right? If you are connected with your mentors, right? Discuss with them, key how how can we get into into industry, right? Into a job, right? What all things are required to be learned those projects and interview it's fairly easy to crack it so once this final evaluation is passed right you'll move to the placement section which is resume building mock interviews right then technical interview preparation and then connection with companies right if let's say a student is not able to clear the final evaluation they'll get total three attempts right in a span of let's say so first evaluation you took you're not able to clear it you'll get one month of time, right? Next month, your next final evaluation will be there, right? So you can revise your little bit of concepts, right? If you are, you know, if you are rusty on your concept, you can revise them, reappear for final evaluation. You'll be able to reattempt it. If you're still not able to clear it, which is very rare, you'll move to the third attempt. So the point is there are multiple attempts to final evaluation, right? And the aim is you clear in any one of that evaluation. It's as simple as that, right? Once that final evaluation is done, you move to the placement process where our mentors will help you build your resume, 
they'll take a lot of your mock interviews what will be asked in technical rounds and all right and then the connection with companies will start where companies will give their you know coding tests and their interview rounds so our team will do all the scheduling you do not have to go on linkedin or nokri.com or any other platform you can simply be in touch with our uh, mentors we'll create a specific group for people who are in this placement process right and we'll mentor you at each step right we'll tell you what to do what not to do right what's the standard practice right and we'll connect you with companies until you get placed right so that's the placement process right it's very very crucial um i hope pretty much covered all the things right is it um so everyone understood the things or like if anyone has any question you can put it in the q and a section right so i see i can see a lot of questions coming up in the q and a section so i'll take one by one uh, some i will not be able to take because there are so many questions right so first question um okay Ish ishan has asked uh, is monstack enough for landing a good job right uh, there are other platforms who teach docker aws right so okay a uh, very good question ishan first of all right so is it important to get uh, to learn this microservices architecture docker and all these things to get a high paying job so there are there is basically so my point of view on this is if you want to get a job as a fresher right or as an early working professional like you have less than 3 years of work experience right to get a job in this role if you learn a lot of concepts right it's going to add very little value to that right whatever companies who are taking the interviews for a role where you have 0 to 3 years of experience what they would really want to understand from you is whether you have whether you know the concept and whether you can build it for them right so let's say um, there is this company called uh, uh, an academy right and they want to hire a software developer so they pay like 20 30 lakhs kind of thing uh, now if you look at their rounds right or you look at the rounds of zomato or any other any other good company product based company or even it service company in all of those cases what they would really want to understand is uh whether you know the concepts whether you can build those concepts just learning the concepts will is not going to help you would have built a lot of projects in the past right and you can showcase those projects and you can explain those projects that is what their aim is so if you have learned bond stack properly you you would have built a lot of projects then getting those jobs is not at all a tough task right in most cases they do not ask this docker microservices architecture right because this is a, these are the technologies which you will learn as you get into a company without getting into a company if you want to learn micro uh, microservice architecture docker you know all these things it's fair, it's something like you are asking a beginner right to learn advanced concepts right as a fresher nobody expects you to learn you know microservice architecture right so even if you choose to ignore it right this is not going to affect anything right and if you have not tried it yet ashan i will suggest try attempting some of the company interviews right yourself is try doing it on linkedin or any other platform just give it a shot right else when we connect our students for the placement program right we make sure that these things do not get asked during the interviews even if they are asked they should not be the deciding factor right so that's a fairly simple point of view right okay uh, the next question okay rupa has asked um so why we selected front end uh, react js and node js uh, so this is very pretty uh, pretty much popular technology react and node you can see you know a lot of the platforms that are built uh, currently more than 60 70% are in this technology only right and a lot of new technologies that is coming up like next js and all they are also pretty much similar to react js right so the aim of picking of this react js and node js as our technology for placement guarantee program is that there are a lot of opportunities there are a lot of jobs out there right if you pick any other technology the number of jobs will be probably very less so aim of taking this technology stack 
is to help our students get placed very easily okay? because there are a lot of opportunities so it's as simple as that uh okay uh, nikhil has asked a question already a uax designer um uh doing front end will this program help me out uh so yeah so nikhil first of all if you are already a uax designer you already have a very good sense of design right and once you join this program you will learn the actually the details of front end development you may be doing front end development using html css javascript right but understanding the depth of front end development right that will help you write more logical code you have a very good sense of design that is definitely an add on but once you start to write a logical code you know complex front end projects right that will create a difference from a normal designer to a actual front end developer right so this is definitely a plus to get a job right that's definitely an add on so if you are not considering it i would suggest consider it uh, because not just being a you know if you if you can just develop it that is okay but it's not okay to be you know in this environment you need to be get better right you need to be you need to have more tools in your arsenal right you cannot be just a ux designer you need to have react js you need to have node js in your uh, in your knowledge hub so that when time comes you can build an entire you know project yourself so that's the goal of this program that right? it will make you a full stack developer right so that the number of jobs out there for you that will open up a lot uh yeah so someone asked this question okay rutika has asked so the will the placement starts uh, after 4 months of month stack completion uh and dsa will go in parallel yes that is true so dsa and uh, final evaluation or placements those process will keep on going in parallel right so the dsa will take up probably 2 hours of your time because most of the question that we do we'll try to cover it during the class itself and we'll probably need one more hour to practice it more and the placements uh that will require some of your time so you can basically split your time in dsa and placements so these two things keep on going in parallel otherwise if you just wait for dsa to complete right that will again you have to wait for two more months so what we aim for is that once you have learned monstack we'll connect you with companies with monstack right and in the same time you're learning dsa so as you progress in the dsa right we'll we'll connect you with companies where dsa is also asked so i think someone is trying to ask a question guys if someone is trying to ask a question go to this activity section at the bottom of your google meet and click on the q and a and put your question there uh what is the difficulty level of evaluation test it's pretty much intermediate level i would say right and it's fairly easy to crack it if you have you know understood the concepts during the course program if you have attended the course right uh alum you can put it in in the questions in the q and a section at the bottom right of your google meet you can see an activity section go to that uh click on the q and a and ask your question there right yeah so the difficulty level is fairly uh, easy to crack uh, if you have attended all those classes build projects and all right so it's fairly easy not that much of a difficult it will be difficult for for there will be couple of people right that i have seen in the past right i have seen in the past in a lot of batches there are always this 4 5% people who do not even do a single project during their course program and what their intention is that i have paid a fees and i'll get a job right as simple as that i'll not put in the hard work so this is a very important disclaimer that i'll give you you cannot just put in a fees and say okay i need a job right you need to learn also you need to give time you need to work hard right so this is more like if you are if you want to become fit right and you are joining a gym so you need to pay the gym fees as well as you need to do the workouts yourself someone else cannot do the workout for you right if you want to be fit right you need to do the hard work so what we also aim for is that when you join our program right you give that time and effort that is required right to learn the things to build the projects right give those 2 3 hours every day and give it consistently right if you are giving that i mean you can meet me after one month or two months right and you can you can thank me 
that I have told you this thing before the start of this program. Right? It's very, very crucial. Right? Giving that consistent amount of two, three hours every day. Uh, moving on to the next question. So there are a lot of questions. I'll pick something uh, that is new. Right. For the technical round of interview, which mode of interview uh, will be asked? Online platform uh, or coding round of interview? So uh, interview round for companies, if you're asking, right? Uh, it could be coding rounds. It could be uh, online technical rounds, right? For some companies, it is a coding round followed by interview rounds, right? So it will be like that only. A lot of companies give you a coding test first. Like they'll tell you, okay, build the short assignment first. Right. Once you give submit that short assignment, they will shortlist a couple of people and take the interviews. And that will happen online. You do not have to go offline for interviews. For job, probably if they ask you, okay, our location is Bangalore, you need to relocate to Bangalore. That's a different scenario altogether. In that scenario, you would already have got a job. Uh, okay, so final year students, uh, when the placements will begin for ProPlus. So if you are joining uh, now, right, which is like end of April, right? So you can clearly see that for four or five months, there will be Monstack teaching that will go on. Post that, one month of final evaluation that will take place. So this is six months. Post six months, the placements will start, right? So in this six months, you will learn also, and the, the final evaluation test also has happened, and the placements will start. So you can add a time of six months from now, right? So the early you decide, the better it is. If you decided two months late, probably you can add just six months to that. Right? As simple as that. Uh, so no, uh, someone has asked this question, MCQ in the final evaluation test or building project? It's building project, right? If you are building project, you can showcase it in the resume. And that also reflects that you have learned the concepts, right? That is what we also aim for, right? So you build a project, right? That's the aim. Yes, uh, it is 100% placement guarantee program, right? Someone has asked the quiz question, say a good question, right? And probably all of you guys might be having it in your mind. Is it confirmed that we surely placed after completing the course? Because as a fresher, this is my main concern, right? So this is a very good question. And I think a lot of people are already having this question in mind. So this is a 100% placement guarantee program, right? Uh, there is one disclaimer is that, that I've already told you. You need to work hard, right? You cannot just expect you okay, have paid the fees and will get a job at the end, right? So the, the placement criteria is that you should learn this program properly. Give the time, right? Give the time to learning. So the only concern is the final evaluation project that you need to build and the interviews you need to clear, final evaluation. Once that is done, right? Once you move to that placement process, we'll make sure that you get the placement. That is not your concern. Right. Your concern should be learning, right? And placement is our concern. Once you are done with learning, once you have shown us, okay, okay, I am of that caliber that I can, you know, clear this final evaluation. I've learned all these concepts, right? Then you just forget about, uh, you know, placements, headaches, and all those things, right? We know a lot of companies and we'll place you. Um, aptitude. So some of the companies may ask aptitude questions, right? But they'll be a fairly easy. Right. We have seen in the past, a lot of our students were able to crack it very easily. Those aptitude rounds are simple maths round, you know, logical rounds. Uh, when will the new batch start? Um, so the next batch is starting from 6th of May. This is 28th of April, right? So 6th of May is the batch, which is like after one week. Uh, in June, uh, there will also be one batch, probably in June end, right? Uh, June 27 or 28, something like that at the end of the June. Right. So that is another batch. Uh, so whichever batch you feel more comfortable, you can join according to your, you know, your time. Um, is it possible to make it fast paced? Already, if someone is already well versed, you can join one of the previous batches, right? And then what you can try to do is you can try to learn those concepts from the recorded recording lectures itself, right? The classes that have happened, right? And you can probably, you know, try to cover those very quickly. Okay, very good question, uh, Alam. I think I've already answered it. Um, so it's a job guarantee program. So the money will be refunded, right? If you don't get a job, right? So this is a very good question, right? A lot of people 
have already in mind and someone has asked a very similar question right is it confirmed that we get a job right so the only thing that i have mentioned and that i'll highlight again is that it's not so it's not just that you paid the fees and you get a job this is more like you need to put in the hard work also right to learn the concepts and to clear the final evaluation once you clear the final evaluation that shows that you have learned the concepts that we've taught in this four five months all the hard work that mentors and tas are putting you are able to grasp those concepts right because that is required to get you a job our placement team when they will connect you with companies they should feel confident okay this student has learned all these concepts right and that is why there is this final evaluation test right you need to clear that to get into the placement process once you get into the placement process it's 100% guaranteed that you will get a job else the whole money will be refunded back to you the whole fees that you paid will be refunded back to you right so that is definitely a point so i think i have answered your question salam um is there any limit to attend placements somia very good question there is no limit right to how many uh, companies that you can attend right our placement team will keep on connecting you with companies and uh, if you get rejected they will even give you feedback right by connecting with companies so it's a good point that you you know keep on improving um yeah so prajwal very good question um we got a message that discounts will be there during this live session so uh, yeah so those who enroll uh, during this live session or at least one hour, one hour after the live session so it's 12 o'clock where the live session ends in next 5 10 minutes till 1 o'clock 1 pm today right we are offering the course at a discounted fees it's at 28000 right so the current fees for the pro plus plan is 32000 and team is giving it for 28000 for the next 1 hour till 1 pm uh, you can ask your counselors about it right you can ask your counselors um, about the discounted fee payment link they'll be able to provide uh if not you can put a mail to team@qubit.tech right so team@qubit.tech i'll put it in the chat so that it'll be a reference to you right you can put a mail that i need a discounted payment link the team will share it with you and you can do the payment before 1 pm post that i don't know if this discount is going to be there so yeah that's your question prajwal um yeah so the final so someone has asked final evaluation project will be based out of curriculum yes it is completely based out of curriculum there right so if you have attended all those classes you build the projects it's fairly easy to crack right uh, alam a very good question that you asked uh, do we get recording also uh, or and when i can ask doubt so i have covered this in the slides also all the live classes that happen right the recordings will be provided right to the student students who are enrolled right and those recordings will be added to your dashboard so we'll give you a dashboard access where let's say the live class has happened now so the recordings will be added tomorrow so that you can watch it at any point of time for doubts you can ask it uh, on chat 24 plus 7 plus more than that the more important part is you can attend the daily uh, doubt solving through our um, doubt class so as i mentioned there is this daily doubt class that happens on google meet you can join that ask your doubts there it's a very way, very good way to ask your doubts on a google meet the mentors can explain you properly even you can hear others doubt and you can probably learn from them uh okay if you want to join the june batch uh, can you get the link at that time Uh, i'm not sure uh, i'm not sure if you get the link at that time right uh, it is supposed to be for the next 1 hour only right uh, so i'm not sure about that really uh, i think most of the questions have already been answered right um, i hope this session was helpful right so just let me know if if there is any further question i'll take it up one more question right and post that i'll you know um close this session and this session right and hope all of you have a very good experience right and uh, if you guys have any further question also you can um, ask your admission counselors with whom you are connected with right or you can put a email at team@qubitech right 
that's a good place to us thanks a lot aniket um, thanks a lot i hope all of you have understood um uh okay so one question that i'll be able to take shalendra do you want to ask any question okay priyanshu thanks a lot right so you can put it in the q and a section at the bottom of your chat bottom of your google meet there is this activity section click on that and go to the q and a section just put it in that okay so someone has asked um okay this is a good question um so should we join the uh, should we join this placement guarantee program or not right um okay so um okay the full question is some whether we should join the qwit placement guarantee program or not we've seen couple of uh, bad reviews about it okay uh, so let me just clarify about it right i think there is two three yeah similar question so let me give you a very good answer to this right i hope uh, this will help you make a decision right now in every batch right there will be a couple of people right who do not want to learn as i already told there are there will always be this four five percent people their thought process is like i have paid the fees right and i should get a job right plus it could be like there will be some people uh, who are in the phase where they have attended couple of the live classes right but they are not able to clear the final evaluation right it could be because they might have used chat gpt to clear it right uh, right they might have used chat gpt to you know build the projects it's fairly easy right and that is why we have uh, we have this round of technical interviews where we want to understand uh, whether you have learned the concepts during the program whether you built the project yourself right these are the two main uh, motivation that we use during the technical interview rounds if you have learned the concepts properly if you can answer them during the uh, interview rounds right in our interview round internal interview round not the company rounds once you are able to clear that final evaluation test right you move to the placement process right so the only thing that this 4 or 5% people are not able to do they are not able to clear this final evaluation project and the reason because that they have not uh, learned the concept properly and more than that if you just ask them how much projects that they have built right right you will get to know that a lot of people were not building a lot of projects by themselves right they may be you know getting the solutions from someone right they may be asking it from chat gpt right so if you are following that process right you will not be able to understand the concepts until unless you build it yourself and that is the core reason that a couple of people will not be able to clear the final evaluation pro project and this is like 4 to 5% people so if you want to be successful that's my point if you want to be successful ask from successful people right now i have mentored a lot of people right so i can share my point of view there are a lot of people who are placed by us and their testimonial is as in the form of video is already there on youtube right their linkedin profiles can be shared by our admission counselor what i would suggest to anyone who has any doubt ki whether they should join after looking at the some of the bad reviews is that ask to your admission counselor ki give me some play students linkedin profile link i want to see whether they are real i want to ask them questions what is the process that they have followed to get the placement because the major major thing that anyone should be thinking any one of you should be thinking is how to get placed right if you want to know how to get placed ask the people who are placed right do not ask it from people who are not placed right i'll give you a simple uh, example if you are preparing for upsc right you'll always uh, take inspiration or ideas from people who have cracked it you will not go to someone who has not cracked it and take the inspiration right so talk to your admission counselor take the profile of people who are who are already being placed talk to them right and then only you should decide whether you should join it or not right do not take it from me do not take it from any other people talk to the people who have already done it right they'll give you a good picture right so this is this is a very good question that has come up right and another thing that you are able to see this bad reviews we do not 
do paid marketing right we do not spend a lot of money in you know putting up random um, you know random uh, answers or good reviews we do not spend on that we believe in referrals right a lot of people who enroll in our program they experience our program right and then they refer to their friends so if you have any doubt uh, talk to the successful people right because eventually you also want a job so you need to understand how they got a job right how are those people who are getting a job what did they do what did they follow uh okay i think i have answered your question also shalendra right you have answered asked the same question similar type of question right what is the course duration right this is what you have asked uh placement is confirmed or not i think i have answered this question shalendra uh what i'll do is with so i'll share the recording of this whole session with all of you as well so that those who have joined late or those who have missed some of the sections they can watch it from this recording of this session right and it will be helpful if you can watch it later also right uh, so the, so i think this is the last question that i'm picking up uh, right so aniket has asked this question the recession is going on how can you guarantee uh, placements right so i'll just take this last question right pose that i will not be able to take because there is a lot of similar questions that i have already answered right so first of all in the recession there will always be some companies who are hiring right so we have partnered with so many companies right among those 7000 company if just 10% is hiring which is like 700 right among those 700 if probably 100 companies will also hire from us right there will be like 100 hirings so there are a lot of opportunities out there right it's just that you need to be connected with the right set of companies and we are already being able to do this consistently right and that is why a lot of students who are being placed through us so recession does definitely affects if we could have placed probably 300 people in month we are now placing 100 just 100 people in a month or 50 people in a month that is how the recession is affecting but it's not something where you we'll do not get placements at all that is not the situation right the efforts will increase from our end right and that is why we guarantee the jobs only to the 70 80 people who whom we enroll in the pro plus program right because we know how many people we can place so those many people only we take in our pro plus program and no more than that right because we know that if if you have done all these things right you have cleared all the final evaluation move to the placement process and due to recession we are not able to place you it's our responsibility to refund you because your job is to learn and clear this final evaluation move to the placement process it's our headache to get you placed whether it's recession whether it's not a recession right and we are already doing it so there is no point to have a confused mind right we'll place you definitely that's not a concern uh okay thank you aniket i hope this has helped a lot uh thanks a lot everyone uh, for attending this session right if you guys have any further question you can definitely ask your admission counselor or you can mail on team adrit qmet qmet tech also uh thank you thanks a lot for attending this session i'll i'm wrapping up this session um, right uh, so that um all of you you know can you know watch this recording so also i'll share this as well right so thanks a lot thank you for attending the session we'll see you later on in the batch probably okay thank you thank you you guys can leave now <laughs>